What's up, guys? Here's your quick tip of the week. Um, the reason my voice sounds so crappy is because I'm using this really cheap headset. I am, uh, I'm not at my studio right now. I'm actually at a coffee shop at a museum in Phoenix. If you ever get to, mu it, to Phoenix, check out the Musical Instrument Museum. They call it the MEM, Musical Instrument Museum. It is phenomenal. It is one of the coolest museums I've ever been to, and it's literally a mile from my house. I'm super lucky in that way. So check that out if you ever come to Phoenix and call me. Give me a call and say, hey, let's go get a beer or whatever. Um, anyway, I like coming down here for inspiration. There's a weird mural of, of people in Africa and um, Guatemala and stuff like that behind me uh, playing instruments. It's a really cool place. They've got the whole place split up into different um, countries and continents, and you can hear instruments from all over the world. It's amazing. Anyway... I want to dive in real quick and show you a quick tip. This is just a quick, simple little tip. Um, have you ever been working on a song and you needed a, a whistle, like the human whistle? <whistles> that kind of whistle. And you can record that yourself, or you can do it through a plug-in. There is actually a VST for that. I found it online because I was trying to whistle a part in the song. And let me show you the song real quick so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. Look at that canvas, grab another paintbrush. Okay, so this is, uh, it's a real quirky little song that I'm working with a co-writer on, and uh, it's very raw still, so it's not fully produced at all, but I wanted to just dial in on what this little, this cool little plug-in's about, and again, it's, it's a whistle, it's made by Real Tone, and I'll put the uh, link to the product below in the show notes, I have no affiliation with them, I just really like it, and it's really cheap, and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys, um, but it has these uh, key keynotes is key switches in the in it that allow you to kind of ramp kind of in the kind of legato between notes ramp up ramp down long ramp fall short fall long and then you can add in more of an airy sound so let me just play it for you here i'm going to solo this track and you can have it more like this or more airy or more normal sounding it depends on what you want to do, and you can add up to three voices, and uh, that gives you more of a flavor, a thicker flavor to it. Or if you, or if you want just one, you could do one. I found because it's a VST, it kind of needs a little bit of. Um, I don't want it to sound fake, and so I thought I noticed with doing two voices, it really helped um, glue it together better. Anyway, it's a great little product. If you go to their website, they have. Um, uh, they have several different instruments. Uh, I use their banjo also, which is kind of fun. I put it in some folk songs. But this little instrument is like 30 bucks, 39 bucks now on sale for 24.95. So I don't know how long that'll last, but uh, check it out. Go to realtone.com and check it out if you want a human whistle. You can use them in pop songs. I know like Flowrider has that song, My House. And that's got a whistle throughout the whole thing. Uh, of course, you can do that yourself if you're a competent whistler. But I don't feel competent in my whistling. So it's easier for me to just dial that in. Hope that helped, guys. Go make some great music, and I'll talk to you later.